in this video session we're going to look at what are ratios in mathematics we are going to define ratio in two ways number one ratio is simply part of a whole number and we can cut this whole number in different ways for example this whole apple can be cut into two we can decide to split this whole apple into eight equal parts in another illustration we can take that one apple and split it into eight and we might decide to eat only two that means out of the eight divided apple we made use of only two and in this we split this apple into 20 equal parts and we ate only five out of the 20 whole apple and in this example this apple was split into 28 parts and we ate only seven parts ratio is simply part of a whole number in the second definition of ratio ratio is simply comparing how big or small part of an object or an item is when you start comparing how big or small a ratio is it is called comparing fractions ratio can be written in fractional form and when comparing fractions we have three types number one when the denominators are equal that is the denominators of the comparing fractions number two when the numerators of the comparing fractions are equal number three when the denominator and the numerator do not have any equal numbers let's compare 2 over 4 and 3 over 4 the simple trick here is when the denominators are equal then we're going to compare the numerator because 4 and 4 are equal 3 is greater than 2 this means this entire fraction is greater than this fraction 8 and 8 are equal we're going to compare the numerator 6 is greater than 3 that means 6 over 8 is greater than 3 over 8 here because the denominators are equal 4 is greater than 2 that means 4 over 6 is greater than 2 over 6 and 3 and 3 at the denominator of the two fractions are equal 2 is greater than 1 that means 2 over 3 is greater than 1 over 3 this is a quick way of knowing which fraction or which ratio is greater or is lesser but if you need to work out your solution how can you show that this is true for the complete video course on this subject click the link in the description or in the pinned comment section we're going to compare each of these ratios let's start with this first question this ratio and this ratio which is greater what we normally do is this will multiply this 8 multiplied by 3 will give you 24 next 8 will multiply by 6 and on this side we have 48 48 is greater than 24 and we're going to put this symbol like this using the inequality sign then this we also have a sign like this showing that this is greater than this next for this 
2 over 3 and 1 over 3, which is greater. The first step is we move to the left. 2 times 3 will give you 6. Next, 3 will multiply by 1 and we are going to have 3. 6 is greater than 3. And this, we are going to put it this way, showing that 2 over 3 is greater than 1 over 3. Next, 2 over 6 and 4 over 6, which is greater. The first step is 6 will multiply by 2. And we are going to have 12. Next, 6 will multiply by 4. And we are going to have 24. 24 is greater than 12. That means 4 over 6 is greater than 2 over 6. Next, for this number 4, 4 will multiply by 2. We are going to have 8. Next, 4 will multiply by 3. And we are going to have 12. 12 is greater than 8. That means 3 over 4 is greater than 2 over 4. This is how we show which fraction is greater than the other fraction. Having understood the concepts behind comparing fractions that the denominators are equal. Without solving this, you can see that 3 over 4 is greater than 2 over 4 because the denominators are equal. Next, let's look at when the numerators are equal. Unlike when the denominators are equal, the lesser part of the denominator will be the greater when the numerators are the same. Here, 1 and 1 are the same at the numerator. But at the denominator, 4 is less than 10. That means 1 over 4 is greater than 1 over 10. We can also solve this using the same method. That is, 10 will multiply by 1. And we're going to have 10. Next, 4 will multiply by 1. We're going to have 4. You can see that 10 is greater than 4. That means on this side, where this 10 is, is 1 over 4. That means 1 over 4 is greater than 1 over 10, which is the same way that we solved when the denominators are equal. Having understood the basic concept of comparing fractions when the numerators are equal, here 3 and 3 are equal. 4 is less than 5. That means 3 over 4 is greater than 3 over 5. And you can work this out using the example that I've shown before. Next, let's compare when the numerator and the denominator have different numbers. For example, we have 4 over 5 and we also have 1 over 6, which is greater. The first step is we are going to go towards this direction. 6 times 4 will give you 24. Next, we are going to move towards the right. 5 times 1 will give you 5. Next, 24 is greater than 5. This simply means that 4 over 5 is greater than 1 over 6. On this side of 4 over 5, we have a greater number, which is 24. And we can conclude that 4 over 5 is greater than 1 over 6. Next, 2 over 3 and 3 over 5, which is greater. We have 2 over 3 
and we have 3 over 5. The first step is to move towards the left. 5 times 2 will give you 10. Next, 3 will multiply by 3 and we are going to have 9. In conclusion, 10 is greater than 9. That means 2 over 3 is greater than 3 over 5. 2 over 3 is greater than 3 over 5. Next, which is greater? 3 over 4 or 5 over 6. You can pause the video and try this out. If you have done that, you will see that 6 times 3 is 18 and 4 times 5 is 20. 20 is greater. That means 5 over 6 is greater than 3 over 4. 5 over 6 is greater than 3 over 4. Equating two ratios is simply known as proportion. This for another video course. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button. Also, subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video.